Welcome guys! In this video, I'm going to be playing Pan Top, and I'm going to be trying out some of the new AD carry buffs. So these are the runes I'm going to use, and let's see how it goes. Alright guys, so today, it's going to be a spicy one. So yeah, 14.6 patch just dropped, and there were nerfs to Caulfield and Dirk. Um, now if you're mainly an Eclipse Black Cleaver user and Sundered Sky, that will hurt you out a little bit. But also in this patch, they buffed 80 carry items. And the 80 carry items that Pantheon can use is Mortal Reminder, LDR, and also with the special build that I'm building today, possibly IE as well. <laughs> so that's why you see me have the Hail of Blades. We're going to go for a super crazy Empowered W Hail of Blades combo. That's going to be the playstyle we're doing today, along with three crit items. Because we are going to be going Kraken Bork and Last Whisper Item. Along with the IE if we make it that far. Yeah, we're in the Renekton matchup today. And to win all matchups top, gotta play for the first like, push into the Cheetah Recall. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And we're going to throw some Q pokes right back at him, some decent poke in here. But yeah, we do have Hail of Blades. So in case he wants to attack us, we do win these all ins. <laughs> the nice triple hit. Very quick. So we got a little short level 2 burst trade. And now we're going to play for a third wave crash. But yeah, let's see how low we can get him. We're going to play for crash here. Going to pot up just in case there's a chance Hecarim comes. And then we have to 1v2 it. Yeah, we're gonna play for the push here. Yeah, there's the bone plate and crack. Oh! <laughs> nice. Woo! That was close. Alright, time to reset. Doesn't really matter what the jungle is trying to do. He's trying to invade, but we need a reset. Otherwise, we don't get a reset time because we don't have TP. But yeah, the next is good TP back here. We need TP back, back immediately and come back to lane. And it's still Cheetah Recall timing, so we're going to pick up the Cull. What the Cull does allows you to accelerate your two-item spike, which is where the one-shot power comes from. But yeah, in our build, um, I'll probably rush Bork first, because Renekton's ulti gives him a lot of additional HP. And then also after the Bork, we'll go Kraken Slayer. Because yeah, with the slight uh, super combo that you can do with the Hail of Blades, that the triple hit of, of the Empower W itself is going to proc crack it once. And then you're going to get two autos and Power Q into another auto attack. But yeah, Kim just coming up top right now, so we can start fighting here. Honestly, he can get it. There we go. We're going to play for the freeze here. But yeah, just like that, we won the lane. <laughs> so... All of this is set up from the Cheetah Recall. Uh, if you guys remember, Harper's first wave, slow for second, crash to third. Because then what that does, it makes the fourth wave start to bounce back. And then by the fourth to sixth wave, as it gets closer to the tower, it becomes incredibly open uh, or easy gank angle for your jungler if he decides to uh, come at that timing. So yeah, one thing leads into another, and that's basically how you snowball this out of control. So now we're just going to perma-freeze this. And Kindred's actually still looking top, so in case he does want to come, got thin this out a little bit. I'm gonna get the cannon first and then go all in. I don't even have to E. <laughs> nice, there we go. Yep, top's completely done. Um, and we're gonna hold this freeze for a little bit longer. I'm just holding it until 6, and then we're hard push out at 6, and then ulti back to lane. That'll be our reset time. Because if I hard push now, I forgot if he TP'd or not. Uh, he could easily just TP and then freeze the wave in front of his tower. So yeah, we're going to hold this freeze here for a little bit longer. Wait until the next wave, and then go for uh, the ulti back to lane. But yeah, these, uh, this kind of uh, Hail of Blades setup is not the first time I've done it. I do have a previous video about it. It is called Full Crit Pantheon on my channel. Um, but yeah, we're going to go three crit items if we make it that far. The Kraken Slayer, the uh, Mortal Reminder, and then the IE. 
But yeah, IE did get increased crit damage, so it is a pretty big boost. Cool, nice. You can kill him here. Oh! I have to hit this. Oh, he flashed. <laughs> Okay, Hecarim's bot. Um, yeah, we can just hard push out here. We need that reset to spend our gold. I think he already used... Uh, what do you call it? Just gonna ward that just pieces there. Oh no, he actually took the long way around. Yeah, let's see if we can hit this R. Oh, we actually hit it! <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, we can make him lose this whole wave. We're gonna hard push out. See if he has TP up or not. There's Hecarim on the bot side. But yeah, we are three levels up on this guy now. <laughs> Quite the crazy lead. And then he's gonna get behind even more. He's gonna lose this wave. And now the wave's gonna guarantee to push back. We can go for... yeah, Blade of the Rune King. Let's go these components and then into... If I want HP pot as well. Bot lane's on a crazy fight right now. Let's see if they do it. Okay, not bad. Zack has no passive. Uh, <laughs> three level lead to Renekton top this early in the game. It's kind of crazy, but... Hey, it happens, you know? We are privileged so yeah, we're gonna come back to lane here and then play for solo kill because we're so ahead. But I'll always crack the bone plating first. Remember about that. Mm. Ooh, it's dashed out, eh? Okay. There's no other chair. I have to go for that combo there, even though he has cracking up. Because we. Oh, that still hit me. No, I wasn't watching the map. <laughs> My bad, it was a three-man top game. Okay, we'll give him that one. If uh, we win too hard, hey, he might AFK, so... Gotta give him something, right? <laughs> yeah, let's pick up Dagger and then rush back to lane here. But yeah, we lose like two waves off this, which is quite bad. And Hecarim might be top side here as well. But we'll see. Should be able to 1v2. If not... Oh, there's the Hecarim. Now this guy is going to go for the reset. We know hard push out. But yeah, now that he's gotten a lead back from his jungler, we can go all out and play... Play at no mercy. Because, <laughs> yeah, I did lose quite a bit here. And their entire team. Oh, especially bot lane. Their bot lane's quite head. And we're going to max W second because this build does not use E in the combo. There we go. Pop the uh, TP. But, yeah, the combo for this build is in power W, triple hit, two auto attacks in power Q, and then auto attack again. Or you could just save the E afterwards on that one. Oh, very nice. Okay, we need to crack his bone plating first before we start to fight. And there is a chance Hecarim could be here again. But yeah, we need to crack bone plating first. I will fate as well. Hmm. Going for the reset, eh? Oh, Hecarim's bot. Okay, we can hard push out. He just used TP and then we go for plates. If he stays, we go for uh, the dive. Oh, he's staying. Now he does have a uh, ulti. We'll just poke with Qs. Get him pretty low. Damn, bot lane's actually falling behind. Yeah, it will be for an interesting game. How to use this top lead to uh, carry. I guess this evens it out a little bit. Not that bad. I do not set 
Yay, pots of bone plating. There's a chance Katarina is coming. Need that Azir to hard push. But yeah, we need a hard push out. Spell down reset. There are no enemies. Uh, my team. They are coming topside. Zach's here too? <laughs> Why is Zach top? Yeah, we should get bot side then. There's the hack room as well. We do have Boar, we can come back to lane here. If the hard push is out, we can just ult it. There is no pity. No yeah, that uh Kaisa's pretty big on the streak, same thing with the Hecarim. We'll work on killing them later on. Mid lane's pretty safe right now. He's got the scaling uh resolve build as well. We can try to all in him here. Oh we hit it, nice. Oh, I'm gonna miss the cannon. Unlucky. Yeah, it's a four-man bot. Oh, we got it. Nice. Alright, bot lane's uh, <laughs> losing a little bit. So, uh, hard push top. Get our lead back. He has no TP. There's the Kindred. This is actually a pretty nice game, actually. I was hoping that they don't FF because we destroyed Redekton, but this is good that my team's in thing a little bit. Gives us a more interesting game. You guys will probably get to see the full power of the crit build. The Pale Blades. Yeah, there's the four men, but... Probably won't have time to get this before he's back, so we'll just reset now. And there's a good chance Hecarim's coming top. Now, the enemy team at all of them have streaks, so... And I need that Kindred, though. We are what we overcome. Hmm. I won't be able to help him here. Yeah, we gotta go. We might get jumped on. No! Unlucky. Kais is here too. Okay, we need one creep for call. Hard push out into reset. Because my team's doing drag. Have to be careful, Hecarim. Nice. Okay, Hecarim's spot. Yeah, we could continue the top uh, top side fight. Okay, it's a four man bot. We can go for tower. Okay, got his uh, R. Baiting it out. They're doing a crazy dive, but there's, they have no creep, so it's fine. We continue the soft side push here, and then go for the tower. Whenever your team is like falling behind like this, it doesn't matter. You need to continue. You're not gonna make it in time if you reset. You gotta play for yourself. Get all the leads possible. Yeah, we got his TP out. And now we go for the reset. So the name of this game to carry this uh, is just get yourself insanely ahead. It's not about roaming or anything like that. Yeah, we can go to Kraken now. For the additional power. I'm not going to buy the crit cloak because it's kind of trolling if I don't crit. Kind of a waste of gold. And yeah, my team is going crazy. I think they're all gonna die here. That guy should not chase, but he's chasing. Yep. Uh, there's a three man, we can hard push top. Oh, they might not get it though. That comes quite fast. We'll just hard push out. 
They're on this uh, grub right now. Oh, maybe I get the tower though. Nice. Okay, we need to farm one more wave. And there is a chance Zack went to uh, Grub or Rift Herald as well. Yeah, he's also there. Now they could be doing a four-man dive top. Nope, there's the Kai'Sa, there's the Hecarim. Okay, we're good. Let's play for the hard push here. There's the Zack at mid. Can push for bot. I can go farm uh, Golems too. This guy is trying to proxy for nothing. Yeah, we hard push shot into reset. That guy is gonna take the long way around. The Neptune's gonna be behind them. Can't do anything about it. We continue to push. Wait. Might have a chance here. No, it's too many. Maybe if Azir goes around. We continue to uh, top lane push. It is not why. Let's see. Yeah, it's best not to touch it. We did the side split top. For some to come. Okay, they should be coming now. There's the hacker room. Okay, we're gonna reset into bot push. Mm, they should have it though. Nice. Alright, we're two items spike now. We can start building for last whisper item. Oh, they got another kill too. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, they buffed Mortal Reminder and uh, LDR. Now for the team comp, they have quite a bit of healing. Nobody's stacking 5k HP, so it's going to be a Mortal Reminder rush. And yeah, I got 5% more armor pen, which is actually quite a decent amount of bonus damage. But anyways, we got to play to one-shot the Kai'Sa, which is totally possible with our build. We got the two-item spike. All we have to do is press W and she's dead. Oh, this guy's trolling. Just need the W. Nice. <laughs> Alright, we hard push top. There's the Kai'Sa. Oh, going mid though. Yeah, we got it. I gotta get the streak. Nice. Damn, he lives. I'm W though. Yeah, we can push for this. I think Zack has passed it too. Oh, we got it! I'm gonna shoot the Q. Oh, they got it. It's alright. <laughs> so yeah, I was prepped with the W against that uh, cat. That's how you counter her. If you play Pant. Um, damn, Azir's going drag. Okay, I saw him pivot top for a second, but... If he was going top, I would have went bot, but because he's already passing, we go take top. But yeah, we don't need all five men to do, uh, to do dragon. So... Oh, it's not up. Renekton's mid too. Yeah, we just hard push top wave into reset. But yeah, after every time you, like, kill everybody, always try to farm everything out. This way you get highest CS in the game, highest lead, everything. All that good jazz. Too many players just reset for nothing after an objective is taken and then, you know, they lose out a lot of meat on the table. All the extra gold. But yeah, currently we're keeping the two level lead on this guy, almost three. And we got the crazy CS leads too. Um, let's see, let's get the blue orb and then rush, we side split bot now since drag is gone. Let the team play top and mid and uh, dragon side. But yeah, we got the 1k on the Tysa. And now we can just play to one shot everyone honestly. Um, but before we do that, always side split as well. Okay, we can kill her too. <laughs> it's insanely broken, what can I tell you? The Hail of Blades combo. So yeah, we got the free pick, and now we can go bot side split. Out of the way for uh, ult to be up. You will not fail if it is worth Even if uh, anything happens, we're still gonna guarantee 800G on the bot side. Mm. 
They're not we're roaming top. Oh, there's the Kaisa. Damn, he got jumped on. If he lives, that's really good. And yeah, we can play most likely Zax with Kaisa. Yeah. So we can just split this on our own. Get free gold. And then we rotate mid with our ults up. Yeah, let's see if we get her. Oh, they already got her. Perfect. Okay, we can get the Zac. Mm, I kind of want this. Can look barren. Can look barren. There we go, he cancelled it. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not sure where the heck room is, but... We can hard push out. There he is, cat was bought. This is completely warded, but... That was bought, so we should be able to get this. Perfect. Okay. We should be set. Alright, cat's top, side splitting. We're at 200 CS now, highest season in the game, 3 level diff, all that good stuff. And now we can go IE. <laughs> so let's see if we can make it to the IE point. This guy's gonna put the top split. Yeah, we'll match it here. But yeah, the really great thing about these items, or this crit build, is that we can maximize that buff to 80 carries. Oh damn, they're fighting mid. Okay, I actually have to rotate over. Let's see if we can make it. Okay. Let's see if he gets it. Mm, probably not. Yeah, unfortunately I couldn't get double kills, but we did get some kills. Top needs a split. A hard push mid, and then I'll uh, ult top. To farm everything up. Because they most likely will be blocking this, yeah. I mean, I could have one shot him though. If he hits it. Mm, maybe he'll give it to me. We got quite high attack speed. And I need to farm top. Let's try to get IE. Oh, uh, Kaisa's. Oh, uh, actually, we could look for picks in their jungle. Hecarim ha might uh, come. The three men bot. Saw him walk top side. We can easily just one shot him. Let's hope it's not warded. He might go for Gromp. Gotta be patient when you're doing this. I guess he's not coming. Yeah, we'll work towards IE here. My team is about to get caught. Coming. Where's the boys? And that guy was going one shot. And get him. Nice. Ooh. Get him. <laughs> get him. Alright, nice. Okay, they're gonna drag. We get soul and then a hard push butt. Let's see if I can get IE. Actually, we have it right now. So I'll just push out for uh, 16 and then reset. Get golems too while it's up. Not too bad, guys. Good job by everybody. Ninja's doing pretty good too. Alright, there's 16 spike. We're up four levels on the Renekton now. <laughs> Boom, baby! There we go. And then we can also go boots. Let's go Zerker Greaves for the additional attack speed. Now, the more attack speed you have with this build, the faster that triple hit comes out with the Hail of Blades procs and the double attack, the uh, double autos after it. So yeah, maybe we could farm for Zerker Greaves, I just need 500, and then we can see how strong it is. So yeah, Kindred's off having a little bit of fun, which is okay. Oh man, I guess I'll give him blue. Okay, I need that Zerker Greaves though. They might just keep roaming mid. They're all mid for no reason. We can look for a fight here. Yeah, though. 
Oh my goodness, where'd you go? Oh, I'm dead. Oh, that thing one shot me! <laughs> Holy moly! Big damage! It's like a ion cannon, Just full AP Kaisa. Alright, makes the game a little bit more spicy. I like it. They got more kills, and then they prolong the game so we can get Zerka Greaves. It's beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna play off 60% uh, crit chance. Um, the final item, I mean, I could go more crit. We can go collector, lethality, and crit. Looks to be pretty good. Um, now, you could also go Sundered Sky, but I do think the Sundered Sky crit nerfs the Infinity uh, the Infinity Edge crit because uh, the Sundered Sky crit crits at 175% effectiveness. So, in case you actually do get the crit on the W, you just do de decrease the amount of damage. But yeah, we we're going to hard push this wave and then uh, go by Zerker Greaves. Alright, we're gonna play for the one shot on the Kaisa yet again. Maybe the Katarina too, if she's open. But yeah, they're both pretty big targets. We are essentially full build. Let's hope we crit on the W. And you guys will be able to see how strong we are. Yeah, we can actually win this, so here we go. Yeah, we got her. Hit this guy. Oh! Just missed. I need a five stack. Aaron's up soon. I'm gonna go mid. Run at them. I guess not. They're too slow. Okay, I'll just one shot whoever face checks this bush. Hopefully it's the Kai'Sa. Nice. <laughs> Go one shot the Renekton. Pretty good. There is the Zach. Yeah, we've got the reset off here. We have 700G. Just buy Elixir and get out. Look for more picks. They're in our bot side jungle right now. Um, but yeah, we need to play for level 18. Level 18 spike. Let's use this uh, scrying orb as well. Yep, it's a good play by the uh, Azir. Yeah, we'll look for a pick bot. Oh. They actually might get caught mid. I hope not. Ulti's not up. I buried regret to yeah, we can look for it now. Along with my name. Four men mid. Oh, Renekton's free. Alright, we'll go for the one shot here. <laughs> oh, the damage is insane. Yeah, we need a 5 stack. Okay, Hella Blades is back up, and now we're going to go to the tower and probably just... I can just flash on the Kai'Sa and kill her. can flash on the cat as well. Yo, our makes our attack speed side lane splitting super strong too. Oh, we got her. <laughs> okay, boys, that's it. Oh, we got the snipe. GG. Maybe these 80 carry buffs are not too bad if you decide to run this build. I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty fun. It looks pretty strong. <laughs> what do you guys think? Feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, and if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone.